I'm going to teach you how to translate languages in your boss theme. So the theme comes with a language file. So right now I'm working out of my local environment on my computer. So you can see I've got in my themes directory the boss theme and a boss child theme. Now whenever we're doing edits to the theme we want to do them in the child theme so that uh, when we release updates to the theme you can safely update your parent theme without losing your edits. They are all stored in the child theme. So in the boss theme you can find a languages folder and here we have English uh, language instances so we're going to copy them into the child theme. Now ENUS stands for English United States. You can look up the country codes and I'll provide a link for that. You can look up the country codes for every region and that's how you would change this. So let's say you're in Germany it'd be DE for Deutschland. Depends where you are. So let's just say we're using US. There's a, a, a piece of software from Mac called Poedit, P-O-E-D-I-T, which is very popular for editing language files. For Windows, I'm sure there are competitors. I'm not sure what the best one is, though. So I'm going to go ahead and open this in Poedit. So here in Poet, we can see all the text instances that are packaged with a the theme. Basically, anywhere where we add some text in the theme, we, we include that in here. And so on any one, you can see the original, and then you can translate it. So let's say we want to translate this update cover photo button. So what I'm going to do is search for that text. And I found it. This is it here. So source text, I'm going to put a translation in here. And we're just going to call it update my photo. And then we save. Okay. Now, it's important to note when you save it, it you, you need this .mo file and the .po file. Um, basically, the .po file is for a, is a file that a human being can read, and a .mo file is a machine file. It's the file that is actually read by WordPress. And so you have to make sure both of these are uploaded because the .mo file is the one that is actually in use. If you don't have it, nothing gets translated. Um, in Poedit, when you save something, it automatically recompiles the .mo file for you. So this was actually updated at the same time. So let's go ahead and see if that worked. And it did. Now it says update my photo. Okay, so that's how you edit the language file. Keep in mind that um, the theme, not every piece of text that you see on your website is coming from our theme. Only the stuff that is actually related to the theme is coming from here. A lot of the text here is coming from other places. So for example, all of this content is basically coming from BuddyPress. And if you're in a forum, most of the text is coming from BBPress. If you have some other plugin outputting content on your site, the, the text there is coming from that plugin. And then some of this is coming from the database. So for example, the name admin here is the name of this user that is being outputted from the database. So it can be a little bit confusing sometimes to hunt down where your piece of text is coming from. And admittedly, if you want to translate a whole site, it is a little bit difficult, but this is how it's done.